Warning! Slight spoilers for both Bleach Thousand Year Blood War and Chainsaw Man Episode 1. You have been warned. Nothing major though, so watch at your own risk. Fall Anime for 2022 has been incredibly hyped up for a while now. With the two major series that I've really wanted to come out for the longest time, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, and Chainsaw Man. And now that I look through this list, oh my god, there's so many more. Including a new Gundam series, which has officially been added to my list. Of, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about my initial reaction to Chainsaw Man and Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War. Because, oh my god, both of them blew my expectations so far out of the water. You, you cannot imagine how happy I was at how these two shows turned out. So I do not know if I've talked about it, but Bleach is my favorite anime from the big three. I got into anime in the late 2000s. So the three anime that were truly airing for the most part around that time were Bleach, One Piece, and Naruto. And while Naruto is one of my first bigger anime, Bleach is my favorite of the big three. Well before the show was even close to finish airing, I read through the entire manga and I kept up with it to the end. And I have been wanting a Thousand Year Blood War adaptation since I read it. It is so freaking good. Oh my god, this anime has just blown every expectation I had out of the water. It's so much fun. And I'm going to be honest, I am super excited for the original voice cast of the English dub to come back. And I cannot wait to see that when it eventually airs in a couple of weeks because Bleach is being simulcast. And I'm super stoked for that. It's going to be great hearing the cast of a series that I effectively grew up on in terms of anime coming back and redoing these characters and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. I'm just super excited to see this continuation of Bleach and, and finally get to see the ending of Bleach get the proper adaptation that it has deserved for a long time. Because if you just watched Bleach and you never read the manga then you'll know the end of the Fullbringer arc was a fairly disappointing end for the anime as a whole. That's because that wasn't intended to be its ending. Bleach's original ending was actually supposed to be the defeat of Aizen. Ichigo using the last of his strength, defeat Aizen, and losing all of his abilities as a Soul Reaper was supposed to be the end of it. There wasn't supposed to be anymore. That's why it feels so weird when the Fullbringers come back because Kubo didn't want to write anymore, but Shueisha and Shonen Jump wanted to keep making that money the from Bleach, so they had Kubo keep writing. That's why it feels so weird. But towards the end of Fullbringer, he started getting into his groove again. He started finding his enjoyment and love of the series Bleach again, and so he started writing Thousand Year Blood War. And then, close to the end of that, they told him to wrap it up because his series was getting cancelled. That's why the end of Thousand Year Blood War is so quick and weird as it is. But I'm just happy to finally see Bleach get a proper anime ending. I am so freaking psyched. But here's the other part of this. The other anime that I've been truly expecting and excited for is Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is an absolutely phenomenal manga. You can find many breakdowns of the characters on this platform. Personally, I have been waiting for this adaptation since I read Chainsaw Man, and oh my god, it lives up so freaking well. The first episode is a complete adaptation of the first chapter, a setup to who Denji is, why he's doing what he's doing, how he gets his abilities, and what's continuing. Oh my god, Mappa fucking nailed this so goddamn hard. One thing I will always give MAPPA credit for, because they have always done this so incredibly well, are their fight scenes. MAPPA does not skimp when it comes to combat, when it comes to conflict and fighting in their shows. They've always done an incredible, incredible, incredible job with their fight scenes, and this show is a perfect example of them doing it perfectly. It is so well done. The fight scene at the very end of this episode is absolutely 
stunning to watch. The sound mixing, the fight choreography, all of it. Top notch. Brilliance. There are a couple of oddness with this episode. In the first fight, uh, there are some points when the animation kind of keeps switching between 3D CGI and 2D animation. But I think MAPPA handled it absolutely perfectly. You have a character who has a chainsaw on his face and two on his arms. I can understand making him 3D when he's in a two-dimensional space so that he feels more properly like he's moving around and it doesn't just feel weird because that in a, especially in a moving environment it could feel very 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 odd to see denji in his chainsaw form trying to move but here's the other side of that when it's a 2d animated background he will be 3d but there are points when they change it to a 3d background and go to 2d hand animation in the fight and that is absolutely phenomenal and it looks amazing personally that is my abs that is one of my favorite ways to show combat in any anime ufotable has done this in so many of their shows and probably the biggest example of this is in in the adaptation of demon slayer they do a 3d background with 2d characters to be able to properly get a scope of them moving through a space it looks really really good and mappa did this in Chainsaw Man, and oh my god, it's so freaking good. MAPPA has really captured the correct pacing needed for this. It takes the time so we can understand Denji's emotions and his connection to Puchita and all of that. And we have that connection and so we can understand the character better and closer. Then when it comes to the final moment, we get the proper amount of time that we need when kind of merge and become Chainsaw Man. Sorry if there are slight spoilers for Chainsaw Man. If you haven't read it, I apologize. It's so much fun. It's so entertaining. First reaction to this first initial episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War and to Chainsaw Man. Holy shit. Chainsaw Man adaptation is freaking amazing. If you're already a fan of Bleach, you're going to absolutely love this Thousand Year Blood War adaptation. I cannot wait for both. I am super stoked. I can't wait to see how the rest of these... Uh, full breakdown, I guess, for both of these when they have finished airing. But that's all I have for now. I just wanted to do a really quick video on my initial thoughts on the first episodes of both Bleach, A Thousand Year Blood War, and the, on the first episode of the Chainsaw Man adaptation. But that is all I have for now. If you would like to follow me on any of my other social medias, links to everything, as always, is going to be in the description down below. But that is all I have, and I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Peace. Thank you.